Hello friends, welcome to the video number 33 for Visual Basic for Applications in Excel and well this is going to be I think a pretty short video but as always I hope that you find it very useful and well basically basically we're going to see two things and well one is how to display a multi-line message in a message box and the other one as you can see here is this is one just single instruction I am assigning all of this into this variable message and well here I have a declared message as a string and I'm going to display that message in a message box you can see here I have this message box I start here and I finish in here so the only thing you need to do to I mean when you have this very long instruction instead of going all the way up here um, you will be needing to scroll uh, and in this case doing it this way I mean you can see the, the complete instruction the only thing you need to do is put a space and then an underscore just uh, try to make sure to avoid weird things happening uh, just complete your sentence for example uh, close your double quotes or if you have like in here I have a VV new line command just put your space and then the underscore then you can go to the next line uh, to the next line and continue writing your uh, pretty long uh, instruction and well this is the other thing that I wanted to show you you can just concatenate uh, using this ampersand I think we already see this I'm not sure uh, I, I don't remember but well to concatenate two or more strings of text the only thing you need to do is uh, use this ampersand so this will join or again concatenate two different uh, strings of text and in this case we are actually concatenating uh, VB or Visual Basic New Line this is the keyword just write it as you see here um, the N is uh, uppercase the L is uppercase so we have VB New Line then again an ampersand and then another piece of text another ampersand and then again VB New Line I'm continuing my instruction here so another ampersand and then another piece of text I finish here but I go to the next line again just space and underscore another ampersand VB New Line you can have a double VB New Line in case you gotta if you wanna have like a uh, white space between uh, one string of text and the next one you're gonna see uh, as when we run the, this program when I run this program and well that's just seen it in action so here you have already seen how to make a very long instruction and con or continue a very long instruction into uh, the next uh, line so that you can see everything here together so let's just run this and well there you there you have it uh, well I didn't put a title I can put a title in here let's just have BB information and here just put a title There you go. <laughs> I think I finally got it. What? <laughs> I'm doing very, very weird uh, things here. Well, this is the information that we just added. We, we have the title in here that says just hello. And well, you can see. Let me see. Well. I'm gonna have to close this a little so that you can see it together. So okay, it's telling me this is how you can create again multi-line messages in a message box. Then we have a new line, and then just use the VV new line as many times as you need. Use the space and another score to create multi-line instructions in VBA. And then again, I have a VB new line and VB new line, so that's how I leave this uh, blank space in here. 
and then just well thanks for watching and please subscribe to the channel and well that's it so again pretty uh, quick tutorial uh, but again I hope that you find this very very useful and well as always I want to thank all of you for watching taking your time to watch these videos and please please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and well I hope to see you on video 34 we're gonna see you let me see um, okay how to copy information from one book to another and then we're gonna see how to pause the execution of a program okay so it's gonna be very nice and i hope to see you there thank you